Welcome in once again. We're here to feed uh, that Yu-Gi-Oh cardboard addiction, guys. You guys already know. Welcome in, guys. Guys, what do we have here? We have penny stonks. 20 penny stonks that I would keep on your radar. Everyone forgot about Battles of Legend Chapter 1, but we don't. When they forget, we remember, and here we are. I would start off with number one number 11 big guy guys this is a card that you can see it had its first spike off the lows now consolidating sideways and if we go to the monthly chart we do see a spike in price as of late here uh you know from uh what 280s to 350s i mean that is considerable and i expect this you know curvature to continue to the previous pivot high of 350s and then fours and then fives and then beyond guys i see this card as a double digi card in the future as a secret rear from battles of legend chapter one that no one's paying attention to no one's looking at anymore the card came and went it came out no one cares it's like oh we have cheap big guys now you know i'm not gonna pay attention but only 36 listings of a product that no one's opening and no one opened um essentially and yes it's behind that paywall so it's hard to get it's scarce that's the whole point you do see walls of china for now yes but that's good it gives you a chance maybe for 10 billies a little bit more and an extra couple of shekels you can come in and get um you know this a playset of this card just so good this is going to be fives before you know it and eventually is going to be double digits just like all the other versions were um before the reprint it's just it's too good of a card it's a generic uh, rank seven broken effect i mean guys stealing your opponent's monsters never gets old in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. i really do like this secret rare penny stock then we have cyber slash harpy lady guys this card it's a harpy card and harpy cards when they get scarce they go up in price this is just the second print of this card and it's a secret rare as we can see here uh, it's hard to get look you had a spike from 254 to almost five billies retracing back down to the mean this is when you want to get it at 363s same deal 11 12 billies you know clean this up janitor style gets you this card 51 listings look after that playset quickly becomes a four to 450 card right there four dollars and fifty cents over 400 copies that's what you you just want access to this card i mean honestly the secret rare looks clean cut fresh off the press just like the channel as we can see the chart just retracing back down healthy retracement before that next leg up to the previous pivot high of five billies at the bare minimum and people coming in just getting their deals getting their play sets because in the long term this is easy another easily you know uh, another easy five billy card and eventually even double digits as a projection on this card if it doesn't get a reprint soon then we have dark arm the dragon of annihilation and what i mean is a new reprint soon guys um this secret rare another generic rank seven broken card that has definitely formed part of the meta you know in in, in the recent formats and just getting floored right here at two dollars just so good to see this card at such a low price 53 listings only though i mean that's just a deal then it's 250 and then threes that's where you see the walls of china again you can come in for 10 billies you know you can get a play set of this card six pages only i like cards like these secret rares they look beautiful they're behind paywalls or behind a product that no one's cracking open and people forget about people say oh who cares about battles of legend chapter one this that and the other and then they come in one day and this card is five dollars then they forget again and then they come in the next day another day and then the card is 10 billies you know down the line you don't want to be that guy you want to make sure that you're early that you get your exposure if you're in europe in the europe markets if you're here it doesn't matter nowhere it doesn't matter where you are all these secret rares all these penny stonks have their own just great value man numerically what, where we're at I, I forgot to count these but we'll, we'll start we'll start where here this is number one guys minerva the exalted lice the whole point is 20 penny stocks that you guys need to keep in mind this one uptrend guys it's too easy it's too easy literally i mean what else can i say we're getting lice support people that play lice they need minerva sometimes even at multiples um look this is what 250s this card was cheap this card was a billion some change you can clearly see the uptrend here on the chart spiking strong to making a new local high at 227s and then you have one deal but then it's a new all-time high for this card um a lot of ones and twos the ones are at three dollars a pop 35 listings four pages only guys you want your copy of minerva at least one you know ideally a play set if you're not playing jay but i'm not playing life sworn it doesn't matter it goes up because people like me play life sworn but me i already have my secrets but again people want the budget version they just want access to the card the card is broken is going to be needed in an upcoming format for people that do choose to play the new life sworn support come on now i mean look people coming in buying this at threes already getting their play sets and extra copies 
guys make sure you have that exposure right now four pages only yes a lot of copies but that gets eaten like that just quickly because the masses come in they want to play light swings just like your boy all these edison players that play light swings like your boy jay and then this card goes from two you know two and two and a half to boom double up up 100 percent you know a five dollar ultra you don't want to be that guy you know buying at five Bailey's guys we have destiny hero malicious man i want to know what's one two three four five six seven eight man i'm bad is that eight jesus nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so this is number five i think jesus christ guys this is number five and number five we have destiny hero malicious guys ultra rare from battles of legend chapter one look at this strong uptrend for this card from a billy 42 all the way up to two dollars and sixty cents insane 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 what's going on here 27 listings a lot of one ofs look it's already a two dollar and fifty cent card three pages only for a card that you could get at just over a billy it's malicious it's used multi-format card it's a broken card that's why it's always like on the list and cycling in and out of the ban list because it's just too good it's too good heroes play a bunch of decks play it's just such a great card that you want access to and number five here great penny stong still i think this ultra is going to be three to fours sooner rather than later that's just a conservative a uh, short-term goal only three pages yes you do have a couple of walls here and there but hard to get guys make sure you guys pick these up and number six we have evil swarm exiton knight again from battles of legend this card was seven eights pushing almost double digits before the reprint came out a billion some change and i was just consolidating sideways providing a couple of deals but the walls are at a dollar 69 this is when you want to buy because you don't want to be that guy starting here or even above two billies you want to get it as cheap as possible because this card is a five dollar ultra rare if it doesn't get reprinted you know hit on the list there's no reason to hit this but you know or something drastic happens this is going to be a five dollar card so you want to come in and take advantage of the possible 3x you know what i mean 2.5 3x um on this card i mean there's no way that i see this card and it's not a five dollar card down the line it's just too good it's used by many decks it's just a rank a generic rank four broken effect guys so you know right now take advantage of these massive of this mini wall and then the massive wall of china under twos before eventually this card is five billies at number six is this six quick launch man i'm bad guys i'm bad with numbers guys here um at about a billy at about a billy you know i'm gonna need to create like a counter or something you know uh, every time i move from one card to the other I i'll create something because i'm having fun with these numerical videos man hopefully you guys are getting entertained as well guys quick launch just such a great card um dragon link never never it always has like a, a random top in these events uh, or at least in, at the regional level look 47 listings a lot of ones and two ofs uh, this card is another one another ultra rare that is a penny stock today that could become a five billy card tomorrow most of these cards that we've been discussing today five dollars is that conservative target you know giving you that two three x potential in many of these penny stocks that's why i love discussing penny stocks because i love being able to multiply your money with cheap cardboard that easily and then sometimes some cases that quick guys this is a card that yes it got reprinted but it's not it didn't get any easier to get behind the battles of legend chapter one product i like this man if you can get these at around billy's billy's in some change there's gonna be two billy's before you know it possibly three to fours down the line and five is that long-term target and yes right now compared that's what three 3.5 x man easy money sometimes it's just too easy guys it just is that number seven guys here i think so is this number seven we have sky striker maneuver afterburners guys we're getting sky striker it's just too easy sometimes we're getting sky striker support is around the corner what do you think people are going to do they're going to be like what this card is cheap is under a billy i mean i need it and it's ultra and it's holographic i mean it looks clean enough i'm going in and then it goes from under a billy you know it goes from shekels to billies as you guys know that's my phrase from shekels to billies you want to ride that wave you want to ride that pump you want to buy at shekels today and sell at billies tomorrow that's the game that's the name of the game look you got a place out here cheap but okay you have an r08 right there boom after that then there's a billy essentially 50 listings only people coming in already getting their play sets the masses will be coming in for this card mark my words this is going to be a multiple billy card that you can get at under a billy here today right now is easy peasy easy money guys at number eight we have jd man judgment drag beautiful i prefer the silvers but at the same time the masses will more like most likely prefer the ultras look had a low uh, a new a new high a new pivot high at a billy 20 retrace back down to the billy mark and now re-spiking back up same deal you have do have the walls here 
I'm at a Billy 12, but then after that is a Billy 29, and then a Billy 50, guys. A lot of people will be playing and using JD, um, I suppose, in Light Sworns. Um, at the bare minimum, at one, you know, a lot of people will be speculating um, with new Light Sworn builds and things of that nature. So 43 listings, that's low. That's low. Five pages only. And then again, you have the Edison angle as well. People playing Edison have a chance to get a brand new Ultra Rare. So the Edison demand will be uh, there for people playing Light Sworns in Edison format. So, yeah, I see. Look at that strong curvature, the demand coming in. Make sure you guys are early. Jay, but I don't play Light Sworn. It's, it's, guys, it's about investing. I don't play a bunch of cards that I buy. Um, and I still buy them because I know and I expect that demand to come in. And we sell into the hype, guys. At number nine, we have Niels Wiseman um, from Battles of Legend Chapter 1, The Secret Rare. Just getting floored. Getting floored in price. That's what I love to see. I love to see charts that are floored. Interest has waned. Everyone forgot about this card. No one's paying attention. Now is the best time to come in and pick up this card. You just need to. Look. Look right there. A Billy. A Billy. A lot of one ofs, guys. But the walls are at a Billy 22 already up 22% from these prices. So if you can sneak any any one of these in, it's a great deal for a secret rare that is hard to get. And it will get hard to get. Only it's third print and it's its max rarity, I think. So guys, don't take a don't don't uh take this for granted. That's what I want. Don't take these deals for granted. That's what I wanted to say, guys. So the secret rare. It's a Billy today, multiple Billy tomorrow. Man, these phrases, where do they come from? The lingo, guys. Make sure. You take advantage of a beautiful secret rare penny stonk like this. Look, only 79 listings. Guys, at number 10, we have Gimmick Puppet Nightmare. Don't forget, you know, gimmick uh, gimmicks are getting support. So this is just broken. Look, it used to be two Billy spiked up strong to 350. Retrace back down to the twos again, back down to the mean. And now getting sales again at above. Look, guys, people coming in, uh, you know, buying at above three Billies consistently. Yes, you have a couple, a one of and then a five of. But after that, that's it. It starts moving already again to 350s and beyond four pages 37 listings only gimmicks are receiving uh, um, support it's as simple as that people are going to need this card they're coming for it the card is broken um and uh yeah 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 and then the gimmicks is easier to make obviously as it's a gimmick card and i like this man the potential's there easily to be a five billy card sooner rather than later then at number 11 here we have the time lord secret rare guys um, no one's paying attention to this what that's a, a generic synchro 10 i like it i like it i mean as a secret from the set yes i mean you don't want to get too much exposure you never know if it truly you know how how much does it go up in the future things of that nature we get it but it never hurts to speculate a little bit like at 50 cents 60 cents doesn't hurt to get a place and just have that exposure 80 listings you know what i like to do um with cards like these is just get a place just get exposure you know, I go into Battles of Legends Chapter 1, we get play sets of most cards that I believe have potential of going up one day. I don't see them, you know, reprinting this again. It's just a second print. Technical max rarity. I really do like this card. So we stayed at 11, right? Okay, okay. We're going into 12. Guys, destroy that like and subscribe button. Guys, we have giveaways coming soon at 4.5K right here. Don't forget, more cardboard, more than this. The closer we get to 4.5K, I'll make sure to provide the final details of the giveaway but you all you have to do is just subscribe that's it you're subscribed you're in that's it simple one click you're in ring that bell to stay tuned for our fresh off the press content and participate in our channel giveaway none of this content is official financial advice it's for entertainment purposes only link in the description down below join the discord join the movement don't miss out and take advantage of your 15 dollars off to get anything over here or over there on whatnot 15 dollars off who doesn't want a 15 dollar you know coupon deal man make sure you guys take advantage of that and number 12 we're gonna go over some uh, speed dual secret rares most of these i still think that they'll continue to go down but i want to make sure that you guys have these in your radar because no one's paying attention to these oh speed duel it might be the last product no one plays speed duel no one cares about this and you know in europe they're not even printing it anymore maybe they're phasing this out and yada 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 okay that's good for the future right now you have access to this cardboard and dandelions dandies man guys this is played heavily in edison um, and it's just such a broken card. And look, look, look at it. Look at it. This is what? 22 listings, four bellies. I mean, I would wait, see if the masses, you know, the supply continues to come in and this go and it goes down in price. But as long as these are under fives, these look clean, beautiful secret rares, guys. Honestly, yes, you have the legendary collection secrets. I get it. But this is not bad for the long term. It has that Edison angle to it as a speed door. I really do like this one. Number 13 is Gaia Plate, the Earth Giant, guys. From mid to destruction again. This secret rare is this a single print of this card? That's crazy. I mean, I don't see. 
Wow, wow, wow. You can special summon this card by removing from play any two rock type monsters in your graveyard. That's very good generic rock support. And it's a level eight. I like it. During your standby phase, remove from play one rock type monster in your graveyard. Send this card to the graveyard. Um let me okay, Drew. Okay. Have the attack and defense of any monster that battles with this card. Okay, so it has the battle, and then um you have to banish, you know, in order to keep in the standby. Um, you know, to keep this active so yeah, i like it secret rare i love the, the the artwork too man it looks very very nice and at 250s again i would expect this to continue dumping down but it's just a penny stock that you want access to it's a free special summon it's a it's a, a level eight um you know it does go with rock type but you never know man Yu Gi Oh is weird sometimes you get random support for different um uh, types of, of Yu Gi Oh monsters and stuff this is good generic rock support at two dollars and fifty cents 24 listings i like this penny stock for the long term we have a number 14 arcana forks e arcana force ex the light ruler i like this at two billies and some change again yes we want to see these walls of china come in you know because listings are low people are not cracking this open um i personally have a box of this i want to open it on the channel just for the funsies we'll see what we'll pull but yeah this this is another um you know a secret rare that is so good i would really focus on the secret rares of this product as great penny stonks um and this is also another candidate what are we where are we one two three four five right so this is 16 17 18 19 20 man number 16 neo spatian grand mall really like the secret rare really do man it's the mall i mean it's such a broken effect iconic multi-format card love love it love it 24 listings here three dollar card hopefully it goes down at least to 250s um three pages only the ones are coming in and it's a beautiful secret rare yeah jay i don't like the stamp it's a speed dual card this and that and the other but the quality control you guys won't regret it at number 16 is a secret rare that i would be keeping on my radar from you know mid term destruction then at number 17 we have elemental hero neos alias i really do like this card why because this card it, it's an edison hero b plays play sets the demand is there the demand is there i love cards when they get reprinted yes they had they already had secret rares i get it most people will want to keep those but these this new secret it looks like brighter just cleaner just better i need this man i need at least a personal play set even though i don't play hero and edison just because the card is beautiful it just is guys at two dollars and fifty cents that's good for 750 plus taxes you can get a play set of this especially if you're new to edison and you're playing hero beat or whatever um you know uh or you just need this card for your deck uh it's just beautiful it's beautiful as a penny stock. i think this is going to be five dollars down the line so already it's going to be that 2x down the line easy um and and it still has the potential to go down so keep a lookout for this one then at number 18 we have elemental hero neos an iconic Yu-Gi-Oh monster yes we have a dt we recently had a, a qcsr print we get it but look at the secret just look at it i mean man the quality control the brightness everything you know shout out to cody peak finally purchased his first speed dual cards man i can't wait to hear his opinion on on you know how they look how he feels about them why because i mean i own speed dual cards as you can feel the difference in the quality control i just love these cards and at number 18 for the long term i think this one will age well it'll get harder to get it's neos is iconic and uh yes the, the supply will come in but at three pages only already and look if we clean this up janitor style look look at these three pages only 23 listings extremely hard to get most of these cards you want to make sure you keep these on your radar number 19 and we have fossil dyna i'm not even going to try and do that yes we do have the secret rare print the tied for max rarity we get it but guys this is the true penny stock here at under a dollar this can easily be anywhere from multiple billies to even a five dollar common in the future the potential is massive you get these at under billies and then you live to fight another day that's what you want to do look the ones are coming in multiple hundreds of copies here a multi 18 listings only two pages only don't get it twisted the demand for this card is insane people are actually playing it in the meta right now also played in edison i believe so if i'm not mistaken just multi-format card and it's a card that has always needed a reprint it did get a reprint now but it's hard to get that's the whole key cards that are hard to get you want to get them now sooner rather than later at least get your exposure um so that you can eat well um in the future guys and then at number 20 we do have elemental hero prisma guys i can't believe this guy this got another comment i just can't believe it why because we're gonna look here and by the way the secret rare looks really really nice um you know that just got printed here Ooh, at five to six billies man today we just kept it at five billies and under but look i can't believe 
that we got two common prints here for Prisma. This one was already spiking like crazy to two dollars. Insane. And then it came back down to a billion some change, but extremely hard to get still. The only reason for this is because we have this common now. So come in, get this one, just get any version, any common, any one that you can, because it's going to be over a billy, just like its counterpart, you know, right here. It's just easy money, guys. If you want easy money, invest into this penny stock. It's easy money. Why? Yes, the masses are here. The supply is here. Reprinted in Battles of Legend Chapter 1, now reprinted in Speed Duel GX. It's common. It feels like it's everywhere, but this is going to dry up quick because both new reprints, don't get it twisted, don't fall for the trap. Both commons, both reprints as commons come behind products that no one is cracking open. And that's the whole thing. That's the key for it. You know, these stores open them up, then you come in, you accumulate as the masses come for a card that has endless demand. This is going to be a two to two dollars and fifty cents card soon. Might be even a five dollar common. You want to make sure that you take advantage of these walls of China. Don't miss, don't don't be that guy that misses out. Guys, thank you so much for your time, for your support, for your attention. Stay fresh.